Hi guys, fellow Wamblers, Badger Detects here, and at the weekend uh, I went to the Detectable 2023 uh, in Gloucester, nice part of the world. Um, I asked um, the local guys, Kevin and John, if they were going, yeah, they were going. I thought, right, bump into them, have a laugh, blah, blah, blah. Like an idiot, packed everything up, and I didn't put my memory card in, which we'll see. I didn't record many finds because the phone was in my backpack. It was like being on the planet Mercury. I used to go there quite a bit. I didn't really find a lot, and I never, I, I never bumped into them. But then, looking through my footage, I found this, and there they are. Now I didn't spot them because I had my phone up. I thought, right, I'll just record. Just I've never been to a detective hall before, as you know. I'm new. You know, I'm just I'm doing it for shits and giggles, right? So I held my phone up to take a, a spin round, looking at my phone, and didn't have my glasses on. So you can't really like be an eagle and spot a mouse from a mile away. Do you know what I mean? So there they are, stood right next to me, and I didn't even flip in notice. And I'm sure. I'm positive, and if he can remember, he might think the same. Nathaniel outdoors, he walked past me, and we looked at each other, as you do, a little nod, and I thought, I know you. He obviously wouldn't know me, because I'm a nobody, but he might have thought, hang on, I might have seen his face somewhere. And the amount of people, I, why the hell didn't I do networking when I was there? There's a guy, uh, South... Oh, crikey. South Coast Detecting, right? And this guy, but I, I saw him three or four times and he had his phone up talking. I thought, well, that's what I'm doing. Why didn't I just use my brain and go, he's a YouTuber. 90% of the people here are all YouTubers. Why didn't I not network and say, all right, mate, what's your channel? But then I thought it's like going up to mid year and saying, uh, are you a musician? I'd get a slap. But then it's it's not like that, is it, I suppose? But I could have gone up to him, and I've watched his, his, his video, and I could have been a part of that and just give the video a bit of a well, little bit of a boost. Because, oh, God. And then he spoke to someone called Ant, and I actually spoke to Ant. She had this pizza, and I went, oh, mate, that looks fantastic. He went, yeah, it's all right. And I thought, he's from down our way. <laughs> Idiot. So here's some snippets of um, the day. Sorry if things are repeated, but my God, it was it was horrendous. It was, I've never felt the heat like that. I've been to Turkey and it was 40 odd degrees, but it, it just felt hot. I mean, being in the middle of a field. So I said, oh, it's thundering. Let's stand in the middle of a field. Same in sunshine. But. Uh, as you can see through the through the video, um, the land wasn't very friendly for a worldwide detectable event. I mean, there was oh, so some lovely guys that are from France and Poland, and uh, there's some uh, Eastern European, uh, Spain, uh, they were all over the place. So God knows what they were thinking. There were some nice finds, apparently. There was a, a French bloke about 80 yards in front of me. He shouted something like, Sacre bleu, gold! And he found a gold half sovereign and it was mint condition. And I thought, a mint condition gold sovereign in the middle of this huge field. And I started thinking, was it planted? Because I think people can do that. What's he going to do, grow a tree? So a good fight if you found it. Fantastic, well done. I know some people pulled some beauties out of the ground. Watched Kev's video. I don't know if John's put one up yet. I'll have a look. Same with the others. Um, but yeah, it was a great day. And being a, a beach womble, hitting a field was just... Well, it was like how I started this, watching the detectorists. 
Well, it's a detectorist, mate. It's, it's brilliant. I thought, oh, all right. And I watched it. I just fell in love with it. It was just, you're out in the open. It's beautiful. And then when I first stood on that first scrub field, field number 35 it was, and I thought, I'm here. I've, I've made it in life. <laughs> it was weird. Um, and then I started swinging. I'm like, flipping heck, it's like, Hitting bamboo, this is. How the, do we hold it above it? If I hold it above it, because when you're flat on the ground, well, nearly flat on the ground, and you've got five inches to dig, but it was up here. I thought, am I going to detect anything? So I just ended up in the furrows where there weren't any. And on the Sunday, uh, I went to field one, which was just a, basically over the fence from where my van was. And it had been raining, hence this. Hammered it down, I thought that's good, it'll make the ground a bit softer. But it also hung in the grass. So I walked into field one and you couldn't swing any closer than that unless I put razor blades on and give it a cut as well. I did find a, a, a little screw, an old dirty screw in there. But I was really, I was really pushing down. It was killing my arm. Out of car accident, and this, this is dead weak. It's killing it. I thought I've had enough. I've had enough of this. Completely piss wet through. Completely. But it was nice, nice and cool. So uh, let's crack on. Well, I'm here at the detective hall. Um, it's really, really hot, and it's, it's bloody huge. The amount of fields that we've got to go in is it's incredible. And I bought my GoPro. I forgot to put a memory card in it. So I'll see what I can do. Catch you in a bit. Huge. That's where I am. You can't really get the scope because how big. I mean, that's all campsite there. And then you've got all camper vans there. There's six rows of camper vans. There's tents there that you can hire for Christ knows how much. It's massive, absolutely massive. Can't really see it, but uh, loads of people. This is crazy. I never realised how popular metal detecting was. This is mad. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, that's bright. So, there's me in the back of my van. The music's still playing. It's 11 o'clock. Got to be up at half past seven. God, I hope I find some stuff. I really do. I'm really comfortable. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. But people do this all the time. And I thought about it and I thought, if you want to go camping somewhere, it's really expensive. But this was 60 quid for a weekend. But I don't know how the rest of the family would feel about doing something like this. Bore them, probably. But yes, yeah, so I'm all I'm all locked up. The windows are cracked open slightly. The front, the van's locked. I'll see you in the morning. Wombles. I might actually have to get in the bed because um, being on a field, you get condensation rising and it can get quite cool. So the toilets are only over there. So I'm charging my phone up because, like a twat, like I said earlier, I forgot my memory card for my GoPro. The most important dig ever. Right, so good night. I'll see you in the morning. Uh, 
here we're on the first field. There's about 30 odd fields and this is just one. It's huge. It's really hard going and it's red hot. Hello Wamblers, two hits. I've got a little lead shot thing. I've just been digging a 97 here, but I can't get it. It's just too deep. I could do with a JCB. Yeah, as far as the eye can see, people, that's just one field. Goes around the corner as well. My t shirt's soaking, but I'll try and keep updating as best I can. I'll certainly uh, burn off anything I've eaten. I know that. Catching a bit. I've had. A sec. About three hours here. This baking heat. Beautiful Gloucestershire. I've been on the three fields. They are humongous. You, you need weeks to go through all this. Seriously, weeks. Come down the back of the hill now. We're we'll head back through the trees. Um, how do you turn this round? no idea well head back through the trees there where I came in go back and get some more water oh I tell you what I must have lost a few stone today <sighs> good fun but this bloody horrible stuff sticking out of the ground it's it's crap you know it's yeah, stuck on it and bloody everything it's that's why I like beaches. It's a bit easier. Right, I'll catch up with you in a bit. Right. I've got to turn the phone like this for some reason. So it's day two. I'll tell you what, most of these fields, they could have they could have cut them. I swear to God. You can't you can't swing your, your machine in this. I mean that is six, seven inches deep. You see the tracks people are making. You just cannot swing in it. So I'm heading over to that field there. That the grass looks a little bit lower. I can see his shoes. The mother fields look about the same. That looks like the horrible stubble in the brown fields over there. So I don't know, there's quite a lot of people in that field. So I'm just gonna mill about here. Oh, you could look, it's up to his middle, him over there. I don't know if you can see it. That guy there, the grass is up to his middle. It's, it's disgusting, it really is.